Scott, so on the topic of boxing, tomorrow in uh, Nebraska, Chris Cyborg makes her boxing debut. Okay. Um, you flying out there? Uh, no, I, um, I'm not flying out there. She did call me and tell me she's going to fight. I wish her luck. Um, and I, I believe this is going to be her second fight. Uh, she had a fight in Brazil a little mm -hmm. while ago, a, couple, a month ago, two months ago. And, and she's always said she wants to uh, try professional boxing. So she is fulfilling her dream. And uh, when she's ready to come back to MMA, then we'll have a conversation. Um, continuing on boxing for a second, I recently spoke with Steven Espinoza, and we talked about the topic of the back-to-back -back Bellator boxing nights here. And what Steven said was there's a lot of moving parts involved in doing something like that. And one of those moving parts is Scott Coker. So, Mr. Coker, I'm asking you, what's your opinion about possibly doing those again? I mean, really it's about timing. And, you know, when, when you talk about um, when the fighters are ready, are, is the date available? Is the next date available? Are, are the two days back to back available on Showtime? There, there's just, like, he's, like Steven is right, there's a lot of moving parts. But if we can line it up with one of their fights and we could do a back to back, I think it'd be great. I mean, to me, uh, even, you know, doing fights on the same night could be something that could happen in the future. That would be, be a lot of fun. I think it'd be uh, something that. As a fan, I would love to see it because I'm, I'm still a big boxing fan. Cool. Um, just out of curiosity, people always say this person was a star of the night. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody from tonight's card that you were kind of wanting to see a lot more out of? I mean, I think I think Liz showed us a lot tonight about her, you know, her grit and her will and, and the will to win the way she she won, but. I tell you, after watching Patrick Mix, Patrick, Patrick, uh, Patrick Mix, and watching Stotts, I'm excited for that fight, and I am really excited for that fight. That's going to be a great main event, uh, and the finals over our Bantamweight tournament, give the champion a million dollars. They're going to have a lot to fight for, and you know, I'm going to sit down and just watch it as a fan, and it's going to be amazing. So, to me, that that's you know, not just one star. I think you know, you got you got two stars here that are going to really throw it down at the finals. Now you talked about <coughs> signing free, you know, dealing with free agents. Have you spoken to any in particular that you'd want to mention? Um, we have been, we talk to everybody all the time regarding free agents, Inclu including Nate. I, I I can't I don't want to be specific. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's you know I'd rather not say at this point, but um, you know, listen, there's not any free agents that the deal is imminent, but. We are, we are constantly in dialogue with every free agent out there um, you know, that's available to, to talk to. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Scott.